most other states is the second highest revenue earning directorate under the finance department government of west bengal and now through the successful implementation of the e abgari project west bengal has gained the distinction of becoming the lead state in the country in bringing all activities of state excise under an umbrella e governance project the project is built on reduced discretion electronic workflow and electronic service delivery methodology in order to attain the government's mandate of eradicating the manufacture supply distribution and sale of illicit and counterfeit intoxicants the clandestine transport and smuggling of rectified spirit and spurious liquor and to ensure that all liquor available in the market are sourced and sold through legal channels thereby minimizing public health hazards while at the same time safeguarding revenue due from this sector to the government till a couple of years back the excise directorate had been operating on manual and legacy based systems using antiquated procedures that had not been changed for decades now as i was saying that uh, till a couple of years back uh, the excise directorate had been operating on uh, manual and legacy based systems using antiquated procedures that had not been changed for decades so so we we displayed the typical uh, symptoms of an inefficient and over bureaucratic organization the service requests to the directorate involved multiple physical visits to the offices and submission of paper application forms record retrieval and collection and uh, aggregation was a very cumbersome and error prone affair there was lack of process standardization at all levels i mean all offices were actually working in silos and and they, uh, each had its own way of dealing with the thing and there was very little data support for analytics based decision making now keeping the revenue potential of the directorate and the sensitivity of the liquor segment in mind the government embarked on a major process reengineering initiative for the excise directorate during 2014-15 the process reengineering initiative involved the implementation of information and communication technology solutions for departmental processes this was done through the e abgari project which was developed and implemented with the technical assistance of the national informatics center and it has been the single most transformational factor in the way the excise directorate functions today e abgari was uh, developed as an it enabled platform that would make it easier for liquor retailers wholesalers and manufacturers to transact business with their directorate while at the same time providing the departmental authorities an effective and efficient mechanism to regulate the manufacture and sale of liquor in the state e abgari offers uh, end to end uh, supply chain management solutions for beverage alcohol medicinal alcohol industrial alcohol and uh, life saving narcotic drugs e abgari we have been able to kind of render 62 online e services in a workflow based manner the key components of the of the e abgari project include web based mechanisms for the grant and renewal of state excise licenses grant of permits and passes for the import export and transport of liquor registration of brands and labels of liquor manufactured or sold in the state automated inventory management at distilleries manufactories warehouses bottling plants e payment of excise duties and fees gps mapping of liquor businesses in the state and also as because uh, state excise deals with a sin commodity a demerit good the regulatory aspects are also very important for which in e abgari we have uh, modules like daily preventive raid reporting system offender database management system criminal case handling systems and we also have grievance handling mechanisms in fact seamlessly integrating a wide array of modern ict technologies like the web barcodes and qr codes sms bi tools gis e abgari has significantly reduced service delivery times for the west bengal excise directorate while at the same time has greatly enhanced the directorate's regulatory capability extensive uh, stakeholder consultation and course corrections as and when necessary have been integral to the e abgari project e abgari plays a critical role in finance commerce and industry public health social and law and order sectors through enforcement of effective regulation and attainment of full realizable revenue the abgari we have been able to arrest revenue leakages through reconciliation of every drop of spirit manufactured or imported into the state render efficient eodb services ensure timely supply of life saving medicines to the hospitals and critical care units 
and ensure effective monitoring of enforcement activities, thereby minimizing the risk to public health from the hazards of spurious liquor. In the changing fiscal environment in the post-GST scenario, and in keeping with the need to comply with the provisions of the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act, EAPGARI has played a critical role in augmenting revenue, which has been an important factor. In fact, while uh, minimum consumption, maximum revenue has been attained, while the consumption of intoxicants has risen by about 5 to 6% annually, the collection of excise revenue has gone up from Rs. Uh, 3,581 crores during 2014-15 to Rs. 11,236 crores during 2019-20, registering a CAGR of more than 35%. EAPGARI offers dynamic dashboard and pendency checker across the hierarchical setup for traceability of decisions. This also ensures responsibility and accountability. There are validations built into the system to, to ensure that e-services are delivered in a time-bound fashion. In fact, EAPGARI is a strategic administrative reforms initiative of West Bengal State Excise, leveraging state-of-the-art modern technology. As part of the government's decision to, to improve the present supply chain management of packaged foreign liquor and packaged country spirit, and to bring in a mark of authenticity on all state-produced and state-imported liquor, Barcode and QR code based supply chain management techniques have been incorporated into the EAPGARI package. While all permits and passes that are processed and generated using the software carry barcodes, even the authenticity of each bottle or stock keeping unit of liquor can be checked by scanning the QR code, which is affixed on the bottle with the help of a standard mobile device or through a pull SMS or over the web. The incorporation of these uh, features and technologies not only help in plugging revenue leakages, but also go a long way in safeguarding public health from the hazards of spurious liquor. In fact, apart from portable alcohol, the excise directorate also deals with medicinal alcohol, alcohol for research, analytical and clinical purposes, as well as industrial alcohol in the form of uh, permits and passes for special denatured spirit for blending with petroleum by the oil sector or uh, procurement of methanol for industrial use. The directorate also deals with life-saving pain relief narcotic drugs, which are managed under licenses granted under the NDPS Act. Now, as the procurement of all such commodities have been automated under dedicated software modules deployed for this purpose under eAPGARI, the stakeholders like hospitals, critical care units, educational institutions, research laboratories, they all have been reaping the benefits of such seamless and hassle-free service delivery which has ultimately benefited the patients as well as the research labs. Of course, in, in keeping with the progressive policy reforms of the government of West Bengal and in order to strengthen state finances, a state-owned and operated beverages corporation to deal with the business aspect of the wholesale distribution of packaged liquor was formed during 2017. The beverages corporation, uh, the entire activities of the beverage corporation, right from the beverage corporation basically deals with the liquor market, which has an annual turnover in West Bengal of more than 16,000 crores. All the activities of this beverages corporation, right from registration of suppliers to raising sale offers by the suppliers, uh, firing automated orders for supply, supply of stocks and inventory management at the depots of the corporation, procurement of stocks by the retailers through online shopping carts and integrated payment gateways, remission of landed costs to the suppliers following secondary sales, finance accounts, warehouse and inventory management, everything have been incorporated under the eAPGARI package, under the eBEFCO module of the eAPGARI package. It is a complete ERP solution for the beverages corporation. In fact, uh, eAPGARI incorporates emerging technologies like artificial intelligence driven collaborative planning, demand forecasting and replenishment techniques, Integration with sensor-based mass flow meters at distilleries and manufacturers with program logic controller and human machine interface. Handheld terminal and case level QR code based supply chain management techniques. Data mining for showing trends and future predictions. Anticipate purchase orders from retailers. Automated orders for supply for demand supply management through overcoming supply flaws like overstocking and understocking creating supply chain visibility and gaining supply risk insights. In fact, recently we have also introduced chatbots for effective interaction with uh, suppliers and retailers and other stakeholders. Uh, a significant feature of the eAPGARI project is that 
it did not involve any significant additional infrastructure creation exclusive to the project. The already existing RT, IT hardware and network connectivity made available at excise offices through budgetary allocations was repurposed for project implementation. The existing ICT infrastructure at the West Bengal State Data Center and network connectivity through NICnet and state-owned MPLS formed the backbone of the EAPGARI project. The directorate uh, did not involve the services of any external agency for project implementation. Uh, engagement of additional manpower was limited to hiring a set of software developers and software support personnel to develop, operationalize, and troubleshoot the project under the guidance of NIC. This particular slide goes on to show the kind of results that we have been able to achieve uh, through successful implementation of the eAbgari project. Our service delivery times have been reduced drastically. Overall efficiency of the directorate has increased. Our enforcement activities have become more effective because of proper and effective monitoring. And of course, as an offshoot, the revenues have also increased. Now, as because it is a demand-driven initiative, it has resulted in greater degree of adoption and adaptation by the stakeholders. I have already mentioned that we have done extensive stakeholder consultation and made course corrections as and when necessary. We have also incorporated the ICT-driven processes in our statutes through uh, publication of notifications. We have incorporated the provisions in the rules, so there is no option to revert. It is a highly scalable system uh, designed to handle increasing concurrent users and increasing load on the application and database servers without affecting the performance. We have multiple application and DB servers with a, with a load balancer in between. We regularly conduct vulnerability assessment and penetration tests. STQC has also conducted uh, application security audit of the application. The, the eAbgari uh, application is being replicated by various other states in India. Some have already adopted and many others are in the pipeline. So far as the future roadmap is concerned, we intend to make further use of AI-driven technologies. And also, as I said, as uh, many states are already replicating eAbgari, we are exploring the possibility of using blockchain technology in handling the export and import permits and passes concerning such states. Recently, the government has uh, approved proposal for setting up a center of excellence uh, as a joint initiative with NIC in Kolkata, powered by artificial intelligence and big data analytics and blockchain technology. The final slides uh, show some stakeholder statements. Uh, it goes on to show how eAbgari has made life easier for stakeholders, for businesses, for hospitals, for, for liquor manufacturers, distributors, educational institutions, research laboratories, and ordinary citizens as well. In fact, uh, uh, eAbgari ha has proved to be a classic example of a cost-effective end-to-end solution for comprehensive transformation of government processes, for empowerment of the government, for ease of doing business, while at the same time safeguarding revenue and public health. This is all in the presentation.